What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for those who subscribe. We are now 400 plus. Thank you so much. And for those who are just new here in my channel, may I request you to click subscribe button and the notification bell so you will always be notified every time I uploaded a new video and if you like my video please click like or put your comment below so in this video I will be sharing to you some uh, activities that you can do at home with your child if your child is still below five years old you can do this activity especially those who are learning how to hold the pencil these activities are very helpful in improving the handwriting and it also strengthens the muscles of the arms there are some kids in some cases there are some kids who knows how to hold the pencil but the way they write is very light it's not really visible so with this activity it can help your child improve the writing it can strengthen because why it's so light because the muscles are not yet trained the muscles are not yet developed so these activities will help develop the muscles the little muscles in the hands so that the child will be able to hold the pencil or anything some children also are a bit clumsy in holding things that's because the muscles in the arms are not yet fully developed so without further ado let's start arranging coins on the lines in this activity the child will put one by one the coins on the lines this activity will not only help the child with the hand muscles but it also improves the focus as well as improves eye-hand coordination so you just put a blank paper and then start writing down one straight line or two or three it's up to you which one that which one suits your child and then take some coins I already have this one and then put one by one on the lines I guess three lines is enough because for sure if more numbers of lines the kids will be bored actually kids enjoy the activity around 10 to 15 minutes so this in this activity you can also integrate mathematics you can do counting one as you put the coins two three four five six and then you can ask your child after finishing one line how many coins in one line before you do this activity you need to model so your kids will know what to do they might be putting it not really straight but that's okay as long as they follow the line there you go after doing it in the on the line you can ask your kids also to return the coins in the container for sure they will enjoy it and the next one we have here putting coins in a coin bag see this one will help also the kids with their hand grip this is really okay for hand grip uh, improvement because they need to pick with the three fingers or four fingers the coins and then put it uh, on the coin box it's the same with the uh, arranging the coins on the lines it's the same also that while doing this activity you can integrate with numbers how many will we put here or can we count the coins that we put here then you start counting for sure your child will automatically follow 
One coin, two coins, three coins, four coins, five coins, six coins, or you can do the singing also. One coin, two coin, three coin, four coin, five coins. Nah. With this singing, or with this integration of numbers, your kids not only uh, learn numbers, but they will also enjoy the activity because of the rhythm of the song. There you go. And then after your child finish the activity, make sure that you that you give him or her compliment. Yeah, you may say, very good, high five, you finish it, or good job. Praises will uplift the feeling of the child. The more that you praise the child, the more that she will be motivated to do the activity. Alright, so in this activity, you will teach your child how to stack, how to stack the coins. It's the same. It's really helpful because you can also integrate here numbers as you do the stacking stacking of coins you can also do the counting for sure your child will your child works will not be as perfect as what you did but at least you can see that she is or he is enjoying he is doing it the willingness alone to do the activity will surely improves his learning he's learning how to count numbers this activity will boost the focus of your child Still the same, we are in the coins. So, you may write numbers in the strips of paper and then you can stick it on the table. In this video, I am using sticky notes. So, you paste it side by side and then you can write numbers 1 to 5. Before you start with this, you would invite your child to identify first the numbers. You, you might say, look, here are some numbers. Let's name them. And then you point with one. And then we say one. This is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. this you can have another uh, group of number at your side for your for your model so the other one will be for your child and then your child will follow point in one and then say one take one coin and put on one take let's count two coins one and two we put in number two let's count three coins one, two, three, three coins. Let's count four coins. One, two, three, four. And so on and so forth. If you want to go on, that's okay. As long as your child, as long as you can see improvement of your child with the numbers, then you can move on. And the most important thing is the praises. After your child do the activity, you need to say, Yay! Very good! You did it! And then you can ask your child to have high 
high five with you or thumbs up because it will really make them happy This activity is called tracing letters on rice. Actually, you have a lot of options. You can use sugar, you can use salt, you can use rice, or you can use the sand to trace the letters. If you think the rice that you put on the tray is not enough, you can add more. Okay, with this you can model first how to trace the letters. So you go to the letters and then start tracing. As you go down you have to say the strokes. Slanting down, slanting down, sleeping line. This is letter A. And then you do it also on the right. Rise. Slanting down, slanting down and sleeping line. Then you can fix again and ask your child to do it. We always do the modeling because kids uh, can follow the action action by just looking. So let's try. You can also say Here are the baby letters, baby A. Kids easily memorize or understand baby A, baby B, baby C. Why it's easier if we use mommy and baby letters? Because they can see uh, themselves as the baby and mommy. As the mommy, it's also the same with the letters. And baby D, 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 D. A, baby A. Let's trace first. Curve down, up and down. Curve down, up and down. Curve up, down. There you go. After that, you ask your child to do it also. Always model first. Now we go to Mommy B. B, B, B. Mommy B says 
B B B. Mommy B says B B B. And also baby B B B B. Let's write Mommy B. Standing line, curve line, and curve line. Let's write. Let's trace first baby B. Standing line and curve line. Yay! Very good. And you can ask again your child to do it. We need to be energetic if we are teaching the kids because this makes them excited. Now let's go to Mommy C and Baby C. It sounds k k. Mommy C, B curve, B curve. This is Mommy C. Baby C, small curve. This is Baby C. And then you can ask the child to do also. If your child can do it, you can stop modeling and let her try, or let him try. This is Mommy D, and this is Baby D. Let's trace Mommy D first. Standing line and B curve. Let's do it. Standing line, curve line. Baby D, standing line and curve to the left. Okay, for so for this letter D, you can give. After this activity, you can ask your child to tidy up by her or himself. Collect the letters and put in a container the rice. Because giving responsibility to your child at that very young age will will boost up his confidence and self-help skills. The next one is scooping the rice. So maybe after you play with the letters, after tracing the letters on the rice, then you can ask also your child to scoop the rice, put it in a plate or in a bowl by using a spoon. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah.
Give your smile.